Hey, my name is Bill Marion, and this is A Nose for Life. There is a lot of amazing scenery and humor in this video, so stick around, even if the topic isn't really your thing. In fact, if Hansel and Gretel had watched this video, well, they would be skinnier. Now, humor is subjective, so read the disclaimer in the description. In this video, I'm going to talk about trailblazes. I know, it's as exciting as watching water boil. I decided to make this video after a terrifying experience I had on a hiking trip recently that had nothing to do with trailblazes, but I'm making this video along with a few other videos about hiking safety. I did, however, make a video about my terrifying hiking experience that you can watch now if you're already an expert when it comes to trailblazes by clicking the tab in the top right-hand corner of your screen now. Or you can wait until the end of this video and I'll have a card waiting just for you. Ah, yes, the Skyline Drive in Shenandoah National Park. Wait. It rains here. It rains in the Appalachian Mountains. Bring a raincoat, unless you're like me and hate raincoats. If you're in the mountains east of the Mississippi, you're going to see some rain, sleet, hail, and snow. And that's probably the case when hiking in the mountains all over these here United States of America. <laughs> You need to be prepared for bad weather. And by being prepared, I mean sitting in your vehicle until it passes, which is exactly what I did to make this video. So you're probably asking, well, what if we were hiking and it starts storming? Well, run, hide, cry like a baby, you bunch of entitled little I'm kidding, relax. I'm going to cover things like that in another video. This video is all about trailblazes, and there's no better place to talk about trailblazes than the Appalachian Trail right here in the great state of Virginia. I've hiked from Georgia to Northern Virginia along the Appalachian Trail. Not all at once. What do you think, I'm crazy? That's over 2,000 miles and it takes six months to do a through hike on the Appalachian Trail? Who do you think I am, a millennial? Okay, boomer. The Appalachian Trail in Virginia is marked extremely well. If you're an expert know-it-all hiker, please let me know in the comments if this is your experience as well. Or if you just want to let us know you're a know-it-all hiker, that's fine too, you granola-loving tree hugger you. By the way, I'm not an expert know-it-all hiker. If you have better information, make your own YouTube video, but like really, who's going to watch a YouTube video about trailblazes? Boring. On the Appalachian Trail, there are about 165,000 white blazes. White blazes are 2 inch by 6 inch vertical rectangles that are painted in, you guessed it, white paint, on trees, rocks, and signposts showing hikers the Appalachian Trail. Well, that about does it. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Bill. Okay, there's a little more to it. There are also blue blaze trails that are alternate routes to the Appalachian Trail or perhaps provide a little scenic detour. Blue blaze trail can lead to a water source, shelter, or campground, maybe even a scenic vista. In some cases, blue blaze trails are alternate routes for the Appalachian Trail, but in some cases, a blue blaze trail can just dead end. In a video I made recently, I mentioned that while hiking anywhere on the Skyline Drive, you're either on or about to be on the Appalachian Trail. Well, I was talking about blue blazing or taking taking a blue blaze trail to the Appalachian Trail or away from the Appalachian Trail. These blue blaze trails are usually, but not all the time, named after the destination. For the most part, I'm going to be talking about white blazes in this video, except when I'm not. There are also yellow blazes. The cool, hip, in-crowd Appalachian Trail hikers have their own lingo. I haven't been cool since, well, ever. But in that circle, a yellow blazer is slang for a hiker who's, well, I guess cheating. Yellow blazes in this vernacular refers to the yellow lines on a road, meaning a hiker who has abandoned the trail and taking the highway or hitching a ride. We've made over 50 videos now along the full length of the Blue Ridge Parkway and also the Skyline Drive. Every summer before 2020, because let's be honest, 2020 doesn't count, you'll see dozens of of hikers on any given day walking down the parkway or skyline using the road and occasionally they're hitchhiking. Like, what's the point? These folks are called yellow blazers. But this might confuse someone not familiar with the complexities of hiking lingo, because there are actually trails marked with yellow blazes. For example, this trail. Remember this video I made a week ago about having that terrible hiking experience? Yellow blazes mark the trail. But to be fair, that trail wasn't near the Appalachian Trail. There's also the Pinhoti Trail, a 335-mile trail located in Alabama and Georgia that uses yellow blazes to mark the trail. So before we get all caught up in the cool kid lingo, many sources say that here in the U.S., trailblaze color have no purpose other than to represent an individual trail. However, the National Park Service has this to say, yellow blazes represent horse trails. Hmm, I didn't even know horses enjoyed hiking. <laughs> Look, 
I don't know what to tell you about yellow blazes. A trail marked with yellow blazes either means you're hitchhiking or you're a horse. Either way, stay on the marked trails. That's always a good idea. So back to the white blazes on the Appalachian Trail. Hiking is amazing and I love it. I did a lot of hiking in the Army, only that it's not called hiking, it's called marching. Other than my time in the Army, a hot minute ago I might add, I didn't really start hiking until my late 30s. But since then, I've learned a lot more than I ever imagined about hiking and more than I really wanted to if you want the truth. Some of this would have been quite helpful though, and other than the white blaze, it's pretty standard on all trails. For starters, this means that you're at the beginning of a trail. Fair enough, so moving on. This single white blaze means keep walking. Or not, man. It's like your hike. You do you. You know what I'm saying, man? It means you're like on the right path, and that's like easy enough, man. This means a right turn. You may be able to remember it this way. The right foot is forward. If you don't know your right foot from your left, you've been green blazing too long, man. It's time to get off the trail and take it easy. And yes, green blazing is a part of that lingo I was talking about earlier, and you can imagine what that means. This is a left turn, like you didn't know that was coming. And this is an intersection. <laughs> no, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm starting to have a hard time taking this seriously. An intersection? Really? Beep, beep, man. Use your signal, man. Like your backpack's taking up all the trail, man. <laughs> this means the trail is ending. But wait, isn't that the same as the beginning of the trail? No, this is the beginning and this is the end. Mind blown, right? I think they used NASA or something to come up with this. One thing is for sure, here in Virginia, they do a great job marking the Appalachian Trail. These blazes aren't just found in trees, they're also on rocks. Yes, rocks, and that's kind of cool. They're kind of blaze happy here in Virginia. You can't see the forest for the blazes sometimes. Hiking really isn't as convoluted as I'm making it sound in this video. I'm just having a little fun. The truth is, is that if you like scenic roads, first, this is the right channel, so make sure you're subscribed and that you click the bell for notifications because we make a lot of videos about scenic roads and scenic places. But I'm always encouraging people to get out of their vehicle and do some hiking while visiting amazing places in nature. It's not as hard as you think. If you're just getting started, it's okay to take it slow. And knowing just a little bit about trails in general might give you the confidence you're needing to get out of your car for about an hour or two. Because the trails around scenic roads on the east coast and west coast lead to some spectacular views that you can't see in the comforts of your car. Like I said earlier, I started hiking in my late 30s, but in my teens and 20s, we just called it being outdoors. I'm not sure we even considered walking the trails in National Forest a clicky kind of in-crowd thing. It's just something we did, because why on earth wouldn't you? Looking back, it's something that all of my friends had in common. We understood how great it was to walk through the forest. We didn't need the right boots or anything like that. Sure, we had our own lingo, but it had nothing to do with hiking. What I'm trying to say is don't be too intimidated to get in the woods and hike. Start off with something really easy, and if you like it, you'll figure the rest of it out for yourself. After all, hiking is just walking with heavier shoes. Maybe. I know people that hike in flip-flops or sandals. Anyway, here's one thing that I hope that you learned from this video. Stay on marked trails. Unless you're a know-it-all amazing hiker, read the sign at the beginning of the trail. And whatever color the trail is marked with, stick to that color. If you're on the Appalachian Trail, that's easy. If you're not comfortable on the trail, turn around and go back to the car, try another trail. 